Ladies and gentlemen, Meryl Streep. Wow, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, my friends and I are so very, very happy that you all came here tonight to be with us on this warm, beautiful evening in Los Angeles in 1990. We've been sitting here tonight, perched on the edge of a mountain, on the rim of a continent, at the beginning of a new century. In 10 years, it will be the year 2000. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but how come 10 years ago seems like 20 minutes and the year 2000 seems like about 1,000 miles away? <laughs> I was thinking about where I was 10 years ago. 10 years ago, I just had my first baby. I did, yeah. <laughs> I just uh, had my first hit movie, Kramer vs. Kramer. And I remember every Thursday, I would put all the garbage, you know, the food and the cans and the bottles and the papers and everything in one big plastic bag and I'd take it down to the street and it would just go away. I don't know where, I think, I think to New Jersey. <laughs> That was, the, that was back in the old days when they had landfills. But after Thursday, I don't know where they took it. I really didn't think it was my problem, not like I do now. Back then, I did think that I was an environmentally conscious person. I would heard then that sometimes there, was, there were steroids in the beef, so we ate a lot of fish. Since the oceans were pristine, we believed that we were eating clean. So much has changed since then, you know, that I wonder what 10 years from now, how things will be different. My little girl said to me, Mama, what will they have when I'm a grown-up that we don't have now? And I think she was, uh, she had in mind one of those personal propulsion backpacks that just lift her off to the beach <laughs> and back in three minutes. But what I wanted to say to her was that she would never have to worry that her baby would get skin cancer from being out in the sun because we would have done everything in our power to restore the ozone layer. And I wanted to tell her that she'd be able to jog through town and take deep gulps of fresh air and not think two things about it. And I wanted to tell her that she'd wake up to the sound of songbirds and that she could drink from the rivers. I think that might be just a mother's dream. But one thing is certain, whatever changes do occur in the next 10 years, for better or for worse, is up to us right now. It's not too late, but there's no time to wait. Thank you for coming.